I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Okay, so today it's going to be an oracle, a uh, you pick, uh, four cards, and then a dyadic cross. So let's go. Okay, so today it's going to be an oracle, a four card, you pick, uh, and I'm going to use the universal golden tarot for that, uh, those or as oracle cards. So these are great, to, and then I'll do the uh, divination with the Albano weight tarot in the end. So these are great. Um, they're kind of gilded. And so I think they're going to show up really great. And they're fun to use because of that, too. So you can see here that, you know, let's just do this. But they got lots of um, shine in them. And they're colorful. And they tell the story uh, really easily. And uh, they're easy to relate to this Albano weight tarot because they're just a more traditional uh, set of pictures in here. So I think these are going to be great. And uh, we'll enjoy using these. I don't think I've used them recently either. I forgot how colorful they are, to tell you the truth. So, and there we go with that. So these will be the Oracle 1, 2, 3, 4. So now is the time to clear your mind, um, bring to the front uh, whatever it is that you want to address with this, and let's see if together we can't uh, tap into collective consciousness and see uh, what some answers might, might be. I really like these cards, too. They handle really well. Look how... Uh, comfortable they are and then um, I think I'm going to do about four of these shuffles here because we've got four oracles and uh, you want to focus your mind on whatever your question is and really decide which cards you're going to choose you may choose the same cards you typically always do or you might want to mix it up or you might want to come up with four issues or variations on an answer that could work for you in this, uh, these cards. Of course, I've shuffled them down more than four times, but too bad. One, two, three, four. Okay, now we'll spread them out. And we'll just get four cards out of here for this uh, oracle. One, two, three, I gotta tell you, these feel so good on the bottom with the, the gilded stuff. Four. Okay, I don't need these anymore. So I'll just hide them away into that box. And I'll put these out. And you'll have to decide which of these cards or which card or what combination. One, two, three, four is for you. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Remember, you can stop the tape and take a minute if you need uh, some more time. But right now we'll put these aside and then we'll start out with the Albano. Oh, let's go ahead and reveal them for the uh, yes and no. Okay, so the first card then is the Two of Pentacles. And you know, Pentacles are value, uh, earth, they're uh, money. Um, it's a, and the, this uh, Two of Pentacles is really trying to keep things up in the air. Look at this guy, he's on one foot. He's about to jump over to the other one probably. There's even a spiral kind of an atmosphere in the back of this card. So, you know, how long can you keep this juggle up? I'm going to say, you know, this is not a yes card. Um, this is more of a no card, but uh, it's more of a in-between. But we'll say this is a no card. Okay, so if, if you pick number two then, uh, number two, the signifier is going to be, ah, the Five of Wands. And, you know, the Five of Wands is all about uh, conflict and uh, disagreement and maybe even mismanagement or um, ideas going awry or conflicting ideas. Yeah, it's just, it's not a deadly battle, but it's a, it's a bothersome, um, a troublesome situation. So that's no. Okay, so now I've got number three. Number three is the Five of Cups. And the Five of Cups is, you know, understandably uh, upset about uh, about something, about some loss. Uh, but having to realize, you know, turn around, you've got something to, to carry on with over here in these two cups that are left. So, yeah, it's kind of a blue atmosphere. And I would say this is a, gosh, this is a, it's not a yes, so this has to be a no. Okay. So we kind of got maybe no and no. And if you pick number four, 
is that four? One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's four. Then, uh, wow, the four is the four of wands. So the four of wands are, you know, wands are movement, action, uh, planning, and uh, the four of wands is kind of a smallish celebration, maybe a milestone uh, towards a bigger goal. Uh, so this is a yes. So we got really three no's and a yes. Okay, but let's uh, put these aside and we'll go ahead and start the divination for the first card, this um, two pinnacles with the albano weight deck which are just the same imagery as what's over there but uh some different uh coloring and they're pretty vibrant they're pretty bright and uh, they kind of really say look at me i've got the answer don't drop me on the floor like i've done and now i can't get it so they're very clear cards they want to be read and they're fun to deal with. They're, you know what? Honestly, they're a little slighty. Just a little bit slighty. I don't know what kind of card stock it is, but, but there is that to it. Uh, but I love using these cards. They're easy to read. So these will be the ones. These will be the bad boys that help us with the divination and get us to the end of the road in these four uh, cards for right now. So it's going to be shuffled up a little bit. That two of pentacles, two of pentacles. If you chose number one, you got the two. How about that? So pentacles, what in the world? What are you juggling? What is it that, because you can't keep it uh, held up in the air forever. Uh, those two pentacles are going to have to come to ground somewhere. Something's going to have to happen. So let's do it. Okay, we're going to take five of those. One two, three, four, and five. Okay, put these cards to work on those three and see what the answer will be revealed. The two of pentacles, uh, uncertainty, uh, keep things going, and, and how long can you keep that up? And what's that challenged by? Okay, that's challenged by huh, new, new beginning. So the fool is absolutely starting off on a new foot. You've got what you need with you. It promises to be a sweet spelling experience, and you've got your conscience here to maybe look out for you as you might drift off that cliff or maybe get turned around just in time. But it's a bright, sunny day, and so this uncertainty is uh, challenged by new beginnings. So the base of this reading, then, is more of that. So more of this argy-bargy, this kind of uh, wands are motion, movement, uh, planning, actions, and they're all entangled here, uh, not knowing which way to go. So there's all this uncertainty that's right at the bottom of this, uh, this new journey. In the past for this, if you pick number one, is the star. So the star is very hopeful. You know, this, this star has got things balanced out. They've got one... Uh, one knee on land, one foot in the water. It's uh, a starry night. It couldn't be clearer. And uh, this person is fully um, happy with their presence in this scenario right here. So this, uh, in the recent past, was very a satisfied um, situation. Um, but up in the sky for this is the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is somewhere to aim for. You know, you want to show that you've got all your worth up here for display and more. You know, it's just you're ready to continue to hone your craft and make it the very best that it can be. So that's the aim of this situation. But the likely outcome then is the Hierophant. So the Hierophant, you know, I say that with some trepidation, but you know, it's just that there are always rules and regulations and, and customs and uh, the right way to go about something. And there's always that. And so you have to uh, temper whatever you're doing with that. So we start out with some uncertainty on this new journey that uh, was uh, really plagued by uh, even more uncertainty from the beginning. And with a little, uh, uh, some action to it, um, we were in a comfortable place and, and knew that we could take on and make this as good a thing as we've ever made. And But we have to remember that there are rules to be obeyed and followed in everything we do. So that is if you chose number one. If you chose number two, we're going to see what happens here. We'll just put these back into the deck and then start to... This one seemed like it went right in next to the other one. And see if we can't start to make some uh, something out of the second card. Now, the second card uh, was just that, that five of wands. You know, uncertainty, a conflict, um, uh, bumping into other people's ideas or actions. And uh, so just not a pleasant feeling. It was a no. And uh, let's see what can happen if we apply ourselves in this situation right here. Okay. I'm going to get five cards. 
start back here a bit. One, well, you've already come, you can come two. We'll go over here, three, four, and five. One, two, three, three. yep, that's five. Okay, that's perfect. Put these away because we're going to use you on the last two. So if you pick number two, remember it was a five of wands, which is just a uh, conflict. I mean, some actionable conflict, uh, but not probably deadly. That's the challenge of that then is the chariot. And, you know, the chariot is fast moving. It's being in control of some very powerful forces and being able to coordinate that to move forward. It's, it's, it's skill and it's going to happen. It's going to move. So uh, the, the challenge of this uncertainty here, this, this embattlement, is uh, the fact that this has to get moving. The basis of this reading, then, is, you know what, it's the uh, five, six, seven, eight of cups is walking away from, you know, this is a lot of emotion, this is a lot of passion, this is a lot of caring, this is a lot of uh, worry, and so really having to turn away from it and, you know, grudgingly make your way along the path, and that's what this has been. It's not been a pleasant um, situation. In the recent past, we've had, you know, and, and death is not death. So death is the definite end of a cycle, of a, of a period. It's, a, it's the beginning of a new start, and it's, it's a definite hard stop. So what we had here is, you know, this was the end of it. Now there's this uncertainty on, on which actions we're going to take, but this is going to move forward, and it was sad to begin with, but we knew we had to keep moving forward. In the sky for this reading, is the uh, happy merchant. So this is the Nine of Cups, and this is the fellow who's happy to show you all the emotions and 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 uh, pleasures that he's uh, accumulated along the way. And uh, so that's what we want to aim for. We want to aim to be uh, satisfied with the outcome of this thing, which may, in fact, be the Page of Wands. So that's an interesting uh, outcome for the reading. A Page of Wands is kind of bringing an idea forward. It's a messenger of a plan. Well, that I guess that makes sense. So the the the... The final outcome of this is that there will be the beginnings of a plan. And so when you have, uh, and that's perfect, a uh, bookends right here. So when you have an ending right here in the past, then you need a beginning. And so that's what we've got here in this uh, reading. So you can turn that no into something a little bit more. So let's see about this last card here. And that is the Five of Cups. And the Five of Cups is a disappointment. You know, it may not be, uh, it might be short-sighted, not realizing that it's not necessary to be so disappointed. You've got something left to work with here. You know, brush it off, as, as difficult as it may be, and get on with what you've got and continue down that road. It's an emotional journey, but uh, it's one that you can handle because you've got what it takes to get there. So that's what we've got there. We'll do one shuffle. And then uh, to get five cards out of here for that. So this will be, let's see, I want to go in the middle here. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so let's scoop these back up. Put these to work on top of that last card there. But if you pick number three, that's what we're getting ready to talk about right now. So number three, again, was the cups having to get turned away from something challenged by a hard stop this uh, having to turn away from this has probably been the result you know what's challenged by is chart challenge okay yeah so you know that this is going to be the end once you turn around and leave this behind you've left this behind uh, that's the, the hard stop that's the challenge and you started again but the basis of all of this again wow the same cards again is the are the hierophant and the hierophant are rules uh customs uh, could be re religious restrictions, but the way that something is meant to be carried on is what is the basis of all of this. In the recent past, then, it was the Nine of Pentacles. And the Nine of Pentacles is really having everything you want, you know, really feeling as if um, you're almost uh, entitled. So uh, so that's how this this started. And then up in the sky, this are plans, the Two of Wands. Wands are action, movement, fire, forward, uh, planning. And that's what this person's doing. They've got one plan set in place, you can see right here. And another one is still a little tentative, but there's decisions that are about to be made uh, on that. And so that's what's in the sky of this reading. But the final outcome, then, is the hermit. And the hermit is, is someone who is experienced, who has action in their hand, and is hesitant about using it. Uh, using it sparingly, really making sure they understand what lays ahead, giving it some contemplation, and taking a careful step forward. So that's what the likely outcome of this is. So what started out as a no, just it has to be more contemplative step forward, I think. Okay, 
So that's what we've got with this uh, reading here. Then the last card is right here, and that was the Four of Wands. And the Four of Wands are plans. You know, wands are plans and action and movement and, and messages. And, and so this is a smallish uh, celebration of maybe a milestone of an achievement towards something more or maybe something that you don't particularly want to be noticed, but want but have a feeling of accomplishment for even. So the four of wands is challenged by uh, these cards right here. So we're gonna pull them right out and see where we go. Let's go back this way. We're gonna have a one, a two, three, four, five. Okay, put these cards aside and get into this one, the Four of Wands. The challenge to the Four of Wands in this dyadic cross, the four is what you chose, is again that uh, being offered something that you don't quite want or maybe you're not quite ready to take. So this celebration maybe is challenged by the next step. It's an emotional uh, proposition, whatever it is. The bottom of this reading then, ah, is heartbreak, is disappointment. I mean, it really cuts you to the quick. So that's what the Three of Swords represents. So this whole thing started with some sort of disappointment that was inevitable, really. So uh, in the recent past of this is again, wow, these cards come out again and again. So this is the Nine of Pentacles. And again, a feeling of privilege, a feeling of, of um, really having everything that you needed to take care of this. And uh, I'll go back through the story in a minute. And then uh, up in the sky, this is celebration. Wands are a movement, forward planning. And this uh, uh, Six of Wands is a celebration uh, of, of those plans. And then the likely outcome of this, oh, sorry to say it started out so nicely. But the likely outcome is just a lot of worry that you've gotten all the rules right. You've been put all your ducks in a row. But, you know, worrying about that doesn't mean that it's not going to come out positively. It could be the more attention you give to it the more certain that it will work out the way you want it to, I hope. But just to go back through it, we ignore these cards because they belong to the first we picked. But if we pick number four, that was a smallish celebration, challenged by really not wanting maybe some emotional peace. Um, it was all uh, underpinned by some, some heartbreaking disappointment, having feeling somewhat privileged in the past and shooting for uh, celebrations. Uh, the uh, outcome would be, you know, caution, really uh, almost unavoidable, a worry, uh, but that doesn't mean that it's going to be a bad outcome because look, it started out as a matter of fact with a smaller celebration. Maybe it had been a name for a larger, a larger um, purpose that may be put off for a little bit until all these things get straightened out. So those were the four cards for today, and I hope they were helpful to you, and I hope that reading was interesting. Well. That was the reading for today, Oracle 4 pick. I hope some of those worked for you. Um, if they didn't, maybe look at it later or just tune in tomorrow because my name is Mark. This is my journey through tarot. Thank you so much for coming along. And I hope you come again tomorrow because we'll go somewhere else then. And uh, ciao for now.